Welcome to another post from Dr. Blake's Healing Soul. Today we're talking about Achilles flexibility and we're going to add a little bit about strength. Uh, the Achilles tendon, as you know, is, is the most powerful tendon in the body. It, it needs at times to lift ten times your body weight in, in times of stress. So it is extremely, extremely strong and powerful tendon. That being said, subtle problems with the Achilles tendon, subtle weaknesses and subtle uh, strength issues or flexibility issues can cause major problems. So it's really important if you're an athlete or someone who just wants to be able to walk, you know, on a regular basis, uh, that you maintain your strength and your flexibility. It takes evaluation from a podiatrist or a physical therapist, a chiropractor, someone who is who uh, actively treats uh, physical uh, Achilles tendons to sort of evaluate your strength and and help you with uh, uh, your the flexibility. Um, we're going to start by showing you a demonstration on strengthening exercise. I think everyone should be able to do about 30 one-sided uh, you know, uh, straight knee Achilles uh, uh, toe raises and uh, about 15 uh, bent knee. Um, I have a separate video on how to do this both with TheraBand and with the toe raises that, that you, can, you can look at on, uh, on the blog and on, on my YouTube channel which is also Dr. Blake's Healing Soul. So I want to show uh, Andrea here doing her uh, toe raises. She's going to start with straight knee and she's going to warm up by doing uh, 10 uh, two-sided si uh, two uh, straight knee uh, uh, strengthening. So keep your knees straight, Andrea, when you do these and you go up slowly and go down slowly and you're warming up the big powerful calf muscles called the gastrocnemius or just the gastroc. So that muscle you're strengthening when your knee is straight. When your knee is bent, you're going to strengthen the soleus which is the second half of the Achilles tendon. So first you, you warm up with ten of those, then you you, you go to a single leg uh, Achilles uh, toe raise. So here, and you do this very slowly up and down until your calf burns. Or if you have, of course, if you have any pain when you're doing these exercises, you stop. So you do to one side to the calf burns, and then you switch to the other side, and you do the, the same. And every day you'll be able to do diff a different amount. Some days you're stronger than other days, and um, and so there's days that you'll be able to do five. There's days that you'll be able to do fifteen or twenty. Uh, just go with it. Don't don't uh, don't push through that pain or or uh, burning sensation. So once once you've ma you've maxed out your your single uh, straight knee uh, exercises. Then you go to your bent knee. So Andrea's going to bend her knee, and and I'm just going to have her do the the two sided. So uh, so you go up, and again you warm up about five of them, and then on a separate video we're going to show you how to do the uh, the single leg bent knee for the soleus strengthening. Soleus strengthening is just as important, if not more important, than gastroc strengthening in rehabbing Achilles tendon injuries and keeping you strong. Thank you very much, Andrea. It was a very important when she did that, as she, when she bent her knee to keep the pelvis level and, and really just focus on the ankle motion. So the pelvis should stay level as, as she comes up, and, and she's doing that perfectly. Okay. So now I want to talk about uh, flexibility. So it's really important to really know your flexibility. And you're either going to fall into being too tight, too loose, or normal. 
And so that's the role of somebody who's skilled at, at measuring you. Where do you fall into that curve? So I'm going to show on Andrea how typically uh, the first the gastroc with the knee straight and then the soleus with the knee bent is measured. So you position the foot in its subtalar joint neutral position. You have to keep it in neutral, which is where the, the foot lines directly under the ankle. And you can feel it uh, under your skin where there's equal pressure on both sides. Keeping it in neutral, you line up one edge of the tractograph or goniometer along the side of the foot and one, one edge going right through the lateral malleolus up straight towards the knee. So that's your reference point. Then, Andrea, if you could pull your foot up towards your... So I'm holding her so she doesn't pronate her foot and I'm measuring her ability to, to, to dorsiflex her ankle. Now she's about six degrees, which is typically you want to be between 10 and 12. So Andrea's got to get some good flexibility work done on her gastroc. So that's the first one, and it's a measurement we can follow when we're treating somebody for tight Achilles. Now we're going to bend the knee, it's going to relax the gastroc, but it's going to focus on the, the soleus. Again, we're going to do the same landmark. We're going to go down the, the bottom of the foot and straight through the lateral malleolus, going right through the center of the knee. Now, Andrea, if you could pull your foot down. Again, I'm, I'm fighting to make sure she doesn't pronate. When you pronate, you get more motion, and it's a false reading. And here she's at 12. Typically, with soleus, you want to be between 15 and 17. So she's a little tight in both her gastroc and her soleus, and, and those are easy stretching to do. And I also have another video on how to do the two positional Achilles uh, uh, stretching exercises along with the plantar fascial stretches, uh, which you may want to look into. Thank you, Andrea. So the last part of this, then, is uh, what we call the force length curve. Every tendon in the body has what we call a force length curve. It's, it's where the length of the tendon on the x-axis is sort of the right length to produce the most maximum contraction, the, the most force or, or power, if you would say. So we know from, from studies that for the gastroc, it's between 10 and 12 degrees, that, that length, so the length I was measuring with Andrea. We know from the, uh, the soleus that it's between 15 and 17 degrees. So in both cases, Andrea was down on the curve here. She was tighter. So her length was shorter, so she was tighter than she should be. And so when she goes to use her Achilles tendon, it produces less power than it should. So simply doing some easy stretching exercises can help. Now, so that's, that's when you, we call you muscle bound, when your muscles are just too tight. They get, actually they're too strong in one sense, but it, it works against you, so you become too, you, you actually become weaker, and it strains easier. But you can be also on the other side of this. I see this all the time. People who do so much stretching, they may do Bikram yoga, not to pick on Bikram yoga, but they do a lot of exercises, or they're just loose, and they're way out here. I can measure them. So normal for gastroc was 10 to 12, uh, I measured Andrea at 6, and I had a patient come in the other day that was 32. <laughs> so that person has a spaghetti, a very soft Achilles tendon. Of course, their Achilles tendons were very sore. And I, and I told this person that you know, their, their Achilles, because they're over-flexible, we're, 
were we also weaker and that they shouldn't stretch for the next two months. I didn't want any stretching. I don't massage is okay, but no stretching. So I hope this helps give you some appreciation of one, the importance of the Achilles tendon, and we could go on and talk about when your Achilles tendon is tight or weak, what that does to your body. But so I hope I hope this helps at least introduce the problems related to, or, or at least the evaluation of, of how to discover if a tendon is, is weaker or tighter than it should be, and, and how to fix it. So thank you very much.